Hello, this is Sari Cornwell with the Athens County Public Libraries with another tech tip for you. This time we're starting on our YouTube page at My ACPL YouTube. And on our page, we have a list of playlists. And we have a full playlist of tech tip videos. And I wanted to point this out because uh, many of our common questions that are asked during tech appointments can be addressed here. And I'm still adding more. And I want to show you uh, that our most recent video using ACPL's curbside service by location. In that video, I showed you how you can use our advanced search to place books on hold for pickup at certain locations. And this tech tip video today is going to show you a little bit more about how to use your own account and the shopping cart function. So we're going to go ahead and go to our website, myacpl.org. I'm going to log in and I'm in here in my tech training account. And I'm going to show you there's a shopping cart here up at the top. So it says collect items you're interested in. Right now my cart is currently empty. So I'm going to search the library for books about turtles since we recently had a great presentation by the turtle lady, which you can find on our social media. And for each book, you see there's an option to place a hold, save to list, and add to cart. You can actually create your own reading list. And adding books to your cart, you can choose what to do with them by either placing holds or saving to lists. So we're going to just add uh, a variety of different turtle books to our cart. Now, if you see, I just scrolled past one, but here, this is actually a digital resource, so it is not available to put into my cart. Um, as I put the four items in my cart, you can see that we have the four items here. To see what's in my cart, I'm going to click on cart, which brings up a pop-up window, which I will expand so we can see it better. And I have four different titles here. If I wanted to select all of the titles and add them to a reading list, I can go to add to a list, and I have four items to add to a list. Now I have this list here, NPR pick, so it's the only one on here, or I can add to a new list. So I'm gonna do a list for turtle books. A default here is private, so it's just gonna be viewable by me. And I'm gonna choose save. And then all of the books now are unchecked, which means that they save to my list. And say for example, one of these books, I definitely wanna put a hold on, uh, a place for turtles. So I can select that one book and go back up where it says with selected titles and choose uh, instead of add to a list to place hold which will then take us out of our pop-up and here back to our site where you can see confirm holds, and this will be your name here. And then I can confirm the hold, uh, and it'll come to whichever pickup location I choose. Now from here, to get back to your account, you can always go up here in the top right corner. It says tech training, or it would say your name here, and I can get back to my page. Now to see my reading list, I can actually go here on the left side where it says your list. And here's the new list we created, Turtle Books, and I click on it, and then we can see our different uh, Turtle Books that we added here. Now it still says four items in the cart. If I open the cart, the four items are here, and they will stay here um, throughout while I'm logged into my account here during this um, time. And if I wanted to, I can also um, empty and close. So I will empty my cart and close it out. Um, it works very similar to carts that you see um, when you're doing online shopping. Uh, in this case, you're doing online browsing and the cart can help you stay organized and keep track of different titles that you may not be quite ready to read yet, but want to read at some point in time soon. So again, thank you for watching our tech tip videos. Our YouTube page is uh, myacpl. Check us out and subscribe. In addition to tech tips, uh, we have story times and other fun activities uh, and lots of digital content landing weekly. So thanks again for watching our tech tips. And if you do have questions, remember you can contact any of our librarians and ask for help.